This is Dr. Patrick Hu from Moffitt Cancer Center. Really happy to have with us today, Dr. Tom Brandon, who's a world expert in smoking cessation and tobacco use uh, in cancer. Uh, so um, thank you, uh, Tom, for being here today with us. My pleasure. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Tell us about tobacco use and disease in general, cancer, heart disease. How many deaths uh, across the globe are from tobacco every year? Tobacco really kills more people than anything else we can imagine, and yet it really doesn't get the attention on a daily basis that it deserves. So the estimates in the U.S. are that it kills close to 500,000 people per year, and worldwide the estimates are up to 7 million per year. Wow, 500,000 people in this country a year and 7 million across the globe. That's a lot of people because a lot of people think, oh, smoking causes lung cancer, but nothing else. But it causes all sorts of cancers and other diseases as well. Tell us about those diseases. It plays a role in a number of different cancers, including bladder cancer, for example. But besides cancers, heart disease, stroke, emphysema, um, chronic obstructive lung disease, uh, just a, a range of disorders. In fact, if we weren't were to devise a a product that you know, is a very efficient killer, um, it'd be hard to come up with something that works as well as tobacco, unfortunately. All right, well, so we got to get people to stop smoking. It's a very hard habit to stop. So you have some new tools that you're working on. One of them is e-cigarettes. Now, what's an e-cigarette? Well, e-cigarette or electronic cigarette is uh, kind of what it sounds like. It's not a real cigarette. It's not a combustible cigarette that's burnt. Um, you know, that it has tobacco that is burnt and inhaled. Instead, it usually has a uh, liquid that has nicotine in it. Nicotine is the substance that uh, is responsible for the physical dependence on, uh, on tobacco. Um, and instead of being burnt, it is... Uh, aerosolized or vaporized uh, through heat. Besides the delivery of a nicotine, a lot of the physical similarities with smoking it, I think make it easier for people to switch from smoking to vaping. So um, is it bad for you? I mean, I, I've seen some things on the news where they say, oh, kids shouldn't do this because then it'll get them to start smoking. But you're using it on the other hand, you're taking smokers and you want to use it to stop smoking. So tell us about the yin and yang of e-cigarettes, Tom. Yeah, it's a very controversial topic today in the tobacco field, um, as well as in public health in general. Um, there are really two sides of the story. One concern is about, as you mentioned, you know, youth. And no one really wants youth to start smoking or even to start being nicotine addicts either. But uh, it they do not seem to be converting to smoking. In fact, the rates of smoking among youth are at all time lows since uh, e-cigarettes emerged about a decade or so ago. The other issue is whether it helps adult smokers quit smoking. More uh, smokers are using e-cigarettes to quit smoking now than any of the FDA approved pharmacotherapies like a nicotine replacement therapies like nicotine patch or gum or the other medications that are available. Now, the question is, does it work? Does it help them actually quit smoking? And evidence is emerging that it does. Most of the evidence is that vaping is much, much safer than smoking. Again, uh, that concern has to be kept in perspective. Great, uh, you're doing a study also on e-cigarettes and smoking. Can you tell us a little bit about your study, Tom? Sure, uh, our study was published a couple of months ago in um, Lancet Public Health. And what we did is, worked with uh, smokers who were already using e-cigarettes on their own. So they were both vaping and smoking. So we ran focus groups and brought them in and listened to what worked for them and what didn't work for them. And based on that, we developed the intervention, a series of booklets, which we call If You Vape, um, you know, a guide to quitting smoking. And what we found, about 40% of um, dual users were no longer smoking two years later. And that's consistent with other uh, evidence that emerged while we were doing this study that people are quitting smoking using their e-cigarettes. They may be dual users for a while. They don't immediately, in most cases, give up their cigarettes as soon as they start vaping, but many eventually do. And then the other um, main result of our study is we were able to boost that by another five to 10 percentage points um, through this very minimal and cost-effective intervention of just mailing people these booklets. That's wonderful. Uh, Dr. Tom Brannon. Uh, internationally acclaimed expert in tobacco cessation from Moffitt Cancer Center. Thanks so much for being with us today. Mm -hmm.